Hello everybody, this is Josh XP Place, and today we continue to grow, expand, and improve our city of Port Austin in Cities Skylines 2 in this episode number 13. And well, last time, as you can see, we were able to finally build our harbor for passengers and draw a couple of routes to go outside of the city. Let's see what kind of trouble we will get into today. Enjoy. I still think this road looks really, really, really nice. Uh, again, I wish we had the opportunity to do some sort of beach around and also to have some of the hotels that we were able to plop down or as commercial areas, commercial zones. I think it would look really, really nice in here. And I also wish we could do a nice park in this area but again hopefully that can happen pretty pretty soon and so to begin our episode number 13 let's take a look at the electricity again we're doing well we are exporting enough electricity and i don't think there's any issues with electricity not getting onto the other side if we start having issues then we're gonna have to do a to continue some of the big power lines when it comes to water and sewage, I think we're going to have issues with the sewage. So let's see what we can do in here. Again, I don't know how this works at all. So I, 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 I really wish I was able to understand how to place these extra settling tanks. Uh, I mean, there's really no way. There's nowhere to put it. So hopefully they can fix that pretty soon. And we'll put just another one in here and if we let this run just a little bit we should be able to see that it increased yeah and so we should be fine also in terms of sewage treatment uh healthcare again we have issues with a crematorium but i think that since we place this one in here we should be fine maybe we are able to add an incinerator there you go and just add some more purses so that I think that's gonna that's gonna work well. Let's see how it goes in here. Yeah, it should be fine. Maybe we can build another one. I uh, will leave it for uh, maybe in our next episode. In terms of garbage, again we're doing well already when it comes to the processing of the garbage. I think that doing what we did here really really helped. And of course, in the future, we should be able to put another one uh, somewhere outside the, the city or the town. In terms of fire rescue, I think we're doing well. Maybe we're going to need another, another fire station in this area. But for now, I think that mm, maybe we can do the, the watchtower. Because I think this is going to be too much. Because uh, we have... You know what? No, it's fine. Let's let's do it here. We'll place it right next to our road here. So that should help. That should help us a lot too. And we're going to go into police. I think we're doing well when it comes to police. And I think that we can also add the police station in here. I think that's going to work really well. And we're going to do... Yeah, let's do the regular police station. Again, we have very little crime, so we should be fine in that regard. Uh, when it comes to administration, I think everything's fine for now. Uh, education, again, we do need to try to increase the uh, capacity for everything, you know, not only from university, college, everything, everything needs to, to go up, uh, especially because we added some good really good um, high density areas in here so let's see maybe we can plop down this high school because i don't think we have that many high schools in here you know what let's let's do it in here we'll place it right next to this parking lot we'll just leave one block 
in case we want to do a walkway and let's add the extension floor and the rooftop sports park is that what it is yeah which i think that looks really really nice really really cool there you go and maybe let's add another elementary school and we'll do the urban elementary school and we'll place it just in here and again there wasn't that much of a a big increase right but that should help us so we're gonna add the extra floor and we're also gonna add that playground and as you can see it completely filled right away that's that's gonna be good again so we're doing we're doing well uh in terms of college we're fine maybe uh we don't have any money right now but we should start unlocking the technical universities uh, the technical university and this one is the medical university so we should be fine for that we will plop down another a couple of these uh, elementary schools um, I think that's gonna that's gonna help us but like you're seeing here we're trying to do an elementary school close to the new the new neighborhood the new subdivisions the I think the biggest issue is in here the fact that we don't have enough in this area but otherwise we're we're fine these people are waiting for an ambulance so let's see yeah there should be enough ambulances here and yeah that should be fine for now and what else do we have in here that we haven't checked so let's take a look at our transportation at our lines remember we have a couple of lines that are going outside the city we're not going to take a look at them first what we're going to do is take a look at this really cool blue line and now i think that this blue line has to continue going all the way into this curb in this avenue i think that's gonna work really well and i also think that maybe this red line should continue all the way here i think that's that's gonna work really really well um or maybe we just need another line from here all the way here because we don't have anything in there and that way we don't have to extend this line all the way here because there's nothing in this area so i think it's going to be wasted just a little bit more so first of all let's take a look at this blue line it's working really well 82 percent usage so we'll add one more vehicle as you can see most of the stops are very busy let's take a look at this one very very busy so busy that people actually are over the um, over the street that looks very very interesting At least you know we're seeing that our buses work, our bus system works. And in the future, maybe in two or three more episodes, we should think about doing the first tram line, um, which we don't have unlocked, but we'll unlock it pretty soon. And we'll see because I think these larger avenues are primed to do trams. That's what I did in City Skylines 1, and it seemed to work really, really well. Again, I really miss um, all the options that we had with City Skylines 2. It was really, really nice. And you know, in here, as you can see, it's just messy. But again, I'm glad that our citizens are using public transportation let's take a look at the other line which is let's take a look at this green line and it looks like it's also being used a lot so we're gonna add 
two more vehicles and also all these stations are extremely busy 729 this one is the busiest one so we'll see how how that's working it's incredible right how sometimes all these um bus stations can be extremely extremely busy and as you can see here it's extremely extremely busy and again i'm glad so we need to make things better maybe not on this episode yet but as you can see it's completely full completely it's just crazy and I, again i like the fact that they're using public transportation and maybe this uh, line can also be part of a tram let's take a look at which other ones we have and again we're going from more usage to least we have the red and it's 60 percent ah, this one is doing great and i think all the other ones are gonna be are gonna be doing really really well based on what we see here but yeah so we already increased uh let's do yeah we should be fine like that i honestly wish we had more uh, well, we had bicycles, right? That would that would be something that would help us. And we need to fill this with. Um, I want to do it with low rent housing in here. Hopefully, that's going to help a lot of these people that are complaining about high rent. What I want to do right now is I'm going to unlock these two tiles, and again, we have enough money, and we're making enough money. But let's just finish this. Um, we have telecom and everything's fine for now. I think in the near future when I have we're gonna have to add another of these telecom towers in this area, right? I think that's that's prime for that. So I don't like to put these little ones in here. I don't think they're very uh, they're helpful, but not that much. Um, but yeah, maybe we can do it for now. Yeah, let's do this. And we've been forgetting to also add mailboxes and right now the service is not that bad so let's let's do let's do a post office in here i think it's a great place to put one do we need to add mailboxes maybe in here and here and here sure i think that's gonna work really well and another one in here of course and maybe one in here another one here and last but not least here that should be fine right um sure. good enough there you go i think that's gonna be just great let's see what type of upgrades upgrades we can do um uh, sure i'm sure they're gonna need that anyways so again we're fast forwarding that way we are able to collect more money uh faster so let me see which tiles i want to i think it's gonna be these three and so what we're gonna do is we are going to connect or have an exit and an entrance into the highway but i think it's gonna be similar to this j intersection here right because we kind of have to go over this little creek so let's figure it out and we'll be back
a little bit wonkier than I than I would have liked, but I think it's gonna work well enough. And yeah, people should already start to use it. Of course, we're gonna get into this side uh, later. We're gonna have a road that goes through here. I think it's gonna work really well. And maybe we'll figure out what we're gonna do in that side. And so in here, we continue to have this area available. And let's see what we have been neglecting to do. So again, it all depends on the money, right? So we cannot do any tourist attractions yet. I think we've done enough football and soccer fields. Same thing with sports parks. Maybe we could do another, another large park in here. Right? I think that's going to go really, really well. But before we do that, we need to figure out if we want to do more residential areas. So first, we need to place down or we need to zone some of these with commercial. And I think I'm going to do this for office. And that should help us minimize this or lower this by a little bit. Right? It did help us. So that's fine. We're doing well. And I think what I'm going to do right now is we're going to unlock these two tiles. Right? I think that should be able to help us. And we are going to continue this road. And I think this road is going to be... It's going to keep on going and going and going. It might curve a little bit or not. And we're going to continue all of this with medium density. But I think we're going to do row housing. So I think we're only going to do... I think we should... Mm, I think we're going to do a little bit of commercial. And some, uh, again, medium density residential. And we're going to leave all this. Uh, you know what? No, let's, let's move these castle ruins and let's put it in here. Like right in front of the creek. And so let's work this little piece of land and we'll be back. <laughs>
that should work really well. Again, now we have uh, just some demand for high density, which should go back into needing more of the other residential areas, right? So let's see if we can place a little bit of more of office zones. Um, let's do them. Let's do some here. And that should help us with the demand. And yeah, we are done with that demand for almost everything. Again, we have done, I think, enough to create more residential areas and i think we can do just a little bit of of the high density and also again we're going to do some more low rent housing and i think this is a perfect place to put it and maybe we can meet these two streets yeah that's going to be just great and that should help us zone this a little bit more but now again now we've done we've done we've done really well with adding more residential areas in here and i think honestly that our city is looking really really nice to recap on this episode 13 we looked at our transportation needs and for our next episode we definitely need to improve our bus routes we also added this really cool intersection in here or uh, exit into the highway which as you can see in here it's already working people are already using that road which is just great uh, it also avoids people from having to drive all the way here or before we even have this one driving all the way here and then having to go back i think it's great uh, to have extra options and that's something that you should have i see a lot of people complain about this and the fact is that they lack more entrances and exits into the expressway and i think that's a big issue that people don't like to address and we also created this really cool new area with medium density residential zones we added a lot of commercial too and this nice little park again as you could see in the time lapse we tried to do it a little bit better but i think this is gonna work just fine for right now because that's that's how we work better right we still have more space to expand our offices but for right now, I think this is going to be it. I do think that we might have not have done a lot, but I, it, I think it was more than enough for this episode number 13. And what's our challenge for episode number 14, our next episode? It is to actually make our bus lines a little bit better. So we'll try to figure if we want to do the tram already on this large avenue or if we want to add more buses or more routes into our city so again i want to thank you for watching and liking this video don't forget to leave your comments your suggestions in the comment section and to subscribe to my channel again thank you and we'll see each other in our next episode